What happens when we make short films with a script that isn't fully ready yet? I always thought it would be really interesting to show, you know, kind of a short film that was in an early draft in order to demonstrate like the changes that each successive draft makes. When I look at the script, I see something that's really repetitive, but let's take a look and see how it plays out. Let's go to the bar, dude. I want to meet some people. I'm aware of that. I'd rather complete this. What is that even supposed to be? I've seen better finger paintings. Everybody starts somewhere. I happen to be starting here. What's so bad about going to the bar for a change? It's not like you're getting paid or anybody's even waiting on that. It's a habit. If you want to go out, be my guest. But then I'll be by myself. That shouldn't bother you. I'm staying here. All right, bro. I tried. All right, so let's talk about that for a second. Uh, that one line, but then I'll be by myself, uh, I actually thought it was a good line because it showed a sense of irony and the distinction between the two characters. But the way the line was delivered was so sad and pathetic that I've spent much time contemplating if I even wanted to include it in the edit. Ultimately, I decided yes, mostly because that was the idea, to show a film that's not ready uh, being made. Um, let's see what else we have here. Um, Harold is so freaking depressed and sad and slow in the delivery of his lines that it drives me crazy. Uh, but that's the way that I filmed it. Uh, you know, another lesson learned. Um, draft two, I'll put it up here. Um, you can see some of the changes we made. Um, let's go to bar. So here we have much of the same. And then midway through, Jeff drops a bombshell. His girlfriend left him. Um, so that's obviously meant to appeal to the sympathies of Harold. Um, Jeff says he's become a shut-in, which is kind of meant to reflect on Harold being like, you know, I've become more like you, so maybe it'll hit Harold where it hurts. Uh, and then it looks like at the end, this time, Harold will decide to go out uh, and grab a drink with his buddy. So uh, let's see how draft two plays out. Go to the bar, dude. I want to meet some people. I'm good. What is that supposed to be? Everybody starts somewhere, and I'm starting here. <sighs> what is so bad about going out for a change? It's not like anybody's waiting on your paintings. I'm trying to make this a habit. It's something I like and want to improve at. If you want to go out, be my guest. My girlfriend left me. Why? She said I've become a shut-in. I'm not the guy I was when she met me. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll accept your apology if you buy the first round. Fuck it, dude. I'm down. <laughs> Even though it was a joke at the end when Harold says, fuck it, dude, I'm down, it kind of, I feel like it makes it a better story. It makes his character a little more appealing because he's not just this, like, I have to stay in and I have to paint and this is what my life is. I mean, who's going to root for a character like that? I mean, the irony is he's supposed to be the main character. Uh, I liked it. He's a little interesting. He paints. Not many guys do that. Not many people do that. Um, but he's so damn depressed and despondent and I didn't realize it when I was filming this back to back to back, but I wish I gave him a little more energy. You know, it's hard to, to get behind a character who just, he just looks like he's a giant rain cloud on everybody who comes around and, and, you know, Jeff's supposed to be a little bit of an a-hole and he really just comes off as a normal dude looking to get a beer because his girl just left him because he's got this roommate, Harold. And goddamn, Harold, you know, maybe 
maybe if you were a little happier, you'd bring a little joy into Jeff's life too. But anyways, that's the way it played out. So here's draft three. So now in draft three, um, what do we got here? So draft three, we actually move very fast through the lines. You can see in the first two, in the first two lines we have, um, let's hit the bars, dude. Your painting can wait. I'm trying to make this a habit. Okay, so we've moved that line way up, and then Jeff gets right to the point. Bree left me. She said I'd become a shut-in. I like this because right off the bat, he's kind of playing his chips, right? Like every scene, every discussion is kind of like a poker match where you're making a series of bets, calls, raises, and folds. And right off the bat, he raises. Um, Harold suggests he should find a girl that likes that. And then Jeff attacks him personally and says, so your answer is to hide and practice a skill that nobody gives two shits about. Harold says he's doing this for himself. Jeff even attacks him more so, now making it personal. So now the unlikable side of Jeff comes out a little bit. You always waste time on bullshit to avoid your real issues. Even though it's unlikable, it also forces a reckoning within Harold. Um, Jeff goes further. And then Harold ends the scene with this little speech about how painting is more important to him than going out and feeling good in that moment. So let's see, take a look, let's see how the scene plays out and let's see uh, if this final draft is a little better. You'll also notice the editing is a little more effort in it as well. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's hit the bars, dude. Your painting can wait. I'm trying to make this a habit. Bree left me, said I'd become too much of a shut-in. Maybe you should find a girl that likes that. So your answer is to lock yourself in and practice a skill that nobody gives two shits about. I'm <laughs> doing this for myself. You always waste time on bullshit to avoid your real issues. What issues? You take everything personal for one. You don't give a shit about your appearance for another. Let's <sighs> say so we go out tonight. I meet the love of my life. We marry, have kids, get a house, the whole shebang. And 15 years from now, I walk by the hallway and I see this painting. And, and it reminds me of this moment. And all I can think to myself is what could have been? What could have been if I kept painting and didn't try to go out to feel better in that moment? From where I'm sitting, that's running away from your problems. All right, dude. I tried. All right, draft three. I do like this version of the scene the best, but after filming and editing, I realized one huge glaring problem with the script, and that is that Harold is supposedly new to painting. So if he's new to painting, then it really shouldn't matter to him that much uh, unless we provide some kind of ulterior motive. But he's nowhere near being a great painting, and it's not really established that that's an important life goal of his. So that's a glaring issue. So if I were to change this scene, I would definitely suggest that Harold's passion is becoming a great painter. It just makes more sense for the scene as a whole. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know um, if you'd ever like to see something similar to this done again. I always thought it would be cool to see um, because sometimes we see these words on the page when we're looking to make a film and we don't give them the amount of weight that they deserve uh, because we just assume, you know, with quality actors and quality set and um, everything else that line by line it's really not that important but i hope that these three different versions shows that it is very important that each line really matters and there's never any room for a line that doesn't serve a purpose 
And that being said, I can still look at this script and tell you there is probably two to three lines per draft that don't serve an absolute purpose. Um, but I'm not trying to spend my entire week perfecting a short film that's meant to demonstrate faults and inconsistencies. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you liked it. Maybe I'll do something similar again if you did. Uh, if not, then I will never touch this idea again, and I will push it far into the recesses of my memory and regret the day I ever tried to do it. So let me know what you think, and uh, hopefully we'll have something new for you soon.